So take a look at this. This is a graph that shows offensive EPA and defensive EPA. Offensive EPA is the x-axis, uh, defensive uh, EPA the y-axis. Uh, so defense is up and down and offense is across. You want the good news or the bad news? Uh, the good news, Jeff, is that the defense is far and away the best uh, unit in terms of uh, expected uh, adjustment per play. The offense, it's in the same area as Mac Jones, Daniel Jones, and Tyrod Taylor, Kenny Pickett, and Zach Wilson. That's not a good neighborhood to be in if you're a playoff team. Um, it, that graphically shows you how much this offense has struggled and who they are comparable to. Well, again, you know, you go to it now where you had you know two quarterbacks other than Deshaun Watson have played half the games to this point. Now, what would be something that would offset the fact he didn't have Deshaun Watson under center? It would be having Nick Chubb at running back. We know Nick Chubb has covered up a bunch of deficiencies for this team over the years. Um, but when you play without both of them, it really, obviously, you know, it shows the level of the skill talent around them. Um, you know, but even yesterday, though, you couldn't get a guy like Amari Cooper involved. Amari Cooper had, had a re you know, has been really, really solid at this point. They couldn't find a way to get him involved. They really couldn't find a way to get Elijah Moore involved. On um, the running game, even though Elijah, I'm sorry, um, Jerome Ford had a 69-yard touchdown. He finished with 11 carries for 74 yards, which means on his other 10 carries, he netted five positive yards. Um, they're going to have to figure it out. They're just going to have to keep getting better at it. I do think the good thing here is I don't think this offense can get any worse, honestly. <laughs> so you have to think that there's probably you – yeah. Know, the bright side is, is it can probably only get better from here. Um, but the key to it all – and. It was going to be this way anyway. This team was going to evolve more into a Deshaun Watson-led Cleveland Browns offense. Um, Browns are going to need to figure out when he's going to be 100%. And for the Cleveland Browns, hopefully it's Sunday or at least the week after.